James is Andy over at Create Launch and Profit. <laughs> I do know there, that we have a countdown here on BeLive. Um, dot tv i love this platform <clears throat> and um i know that the video starts before it gets to the one so i feel like i have to do something because it goes five four three and i think right around four <laughs> it actually starts sharing uh the video so i want to make sure that i'm doing something and not sitting here like picking my nose or scratching my ear or doing something silly um all right so a couple of things. We're going to be talking about a uh, a new resource for free uh, business resources that is fantastic. You go to one place and you have all these free resources you can click on and go to. And I'm going to give you. Uh, I'm going to show one of them, uh, which I should actually get prepared here uh, and show you, um, so that when I or have uh, ready for when I show you and share my screen. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, a little bit about Vimeo too. There's a a thing that I just kind of realized that um, is possible with the pro version. And I think it makes it worthwhile. Now, I know a lot of people love YouTube, so I'm not telling you to get rid of YouTube and not use YouTube. But when you're using one of the two to uh, create a, a product or an ad in ClickFunnels, I, I believe that Vimeo is better because when the as I saw in one of ClickFunnels trainings, I probably shouldn't talk about this now, I should wait, but let me just talk to you about it, that they're using YouTube and at the end of the video on the, uh, I think it was day one, <laughs> right off the bat, at the, on the end of that video, they're using YouTube links to link to the training video that they're sharing in this uh, training program. And at the conclusion, it showed uh, some videos that recommended afterwards. And one of them, the primary one right afterwards, was uh, why not to use ClickFunnels and why they're a bunch of uh, losers or something like that. I can't remember what the exact words were, but it was like you have this very good training, and then at the end it says, "Ah, don't use ClickFunnels." I've here's a resource. It, it talks about another um, uh, platform that was better and cheaper and more effective, right? And so it ends. You know, you go, wow, what great training I got from ClickFunnels. And then the next video is why ClickFunnels uh, are a bunch of losers and why you shouldn't use them. And here's a better platform that you should be using. So I, I'll, I'll explain, uh, you know, uh, that a little bit further as to the, one of the reasons why I use Vimeo. Um, and so let me go ahead and go to this uh, uh, other, get this other thing prepared and get back to be live here and uh, and get prepared to share my screen. The other thing you're gonna see in the description is a link for uh, the challenge that I'm currently doing. That's a ClickFunnels, um, um, affiliate bootcamp challenge, 100 days uh, of this challenge. 100 days is a lot, I know. But I would not be recommending it if it wasn't good and it was, and it's free. I, you know, I, I like to share things that are inexpensive, if not free, that are powerful, that you need to be doing or should be doing, and um, uh, you know, get you away from all the shiny object stuff. And so this training, uh, my belief is really good training, whether you use it to sell their products or not, because in the end, what they are helping you do is learn how to use Facebook ads, how to use sales funnels to sell their products. Now, of course, they want you to sell their products because they're going to make more money, but you're going to get 40 percent of that money in many cases, sometimes a little bit less, but in, in many cases, 40 percent. But you don't have to sell their stuff. You, you use the training to sell your stuff. And that's what makes it really good. And the training is good. It really is, even though at the end of the videos you get uh, 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 refer to uh, videos that talks poorly about ClickFunnels. <laughs> All right, so I got uh, my screen shared there. All right, in one of those videos, uh, they brought me to a resource, which I want to share to you here in Create a Launch of Profit, because in Create a Launch of Profit, you are going to use lots of different tools as you're creating your product. You're going to use uh, video editors. You're going to use mock-ups. You're going to use, uh, you know, graphic um, uh, design sites. And, um, and what else? Um, email management. Buh, 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 buh. free guides and courses, free social media, community management, free customer service engagement, and all this other stuff are possibilities, uh, free stock ph photography, free typography, free icons that you're going to want to use. So um, the name of this site, and I'm going to share it right now as I bring it up to the uh, the page there, and I'll go solo here so you can see it a little bit better, is very bland. It's kind of like Google, right? It's, it's good that there's not a lot of extra stuff, and it's called growthsupply.com forward slash free. I'm going to go ahead and put this. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not in that. I'm in the new. There we go. So I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to put it in the comment section. Oh, shoot. I forgot I was going to share something else, too. So free business resources. Here is the link. 
comment. All right. If you want to join me and you have your camera and mic ready, you feel free to join me. I, I'm, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be on, but I'll be on for a while. If you want to join me, just go ahead and get into the uh, the lobby and uh, I will bring you on if you have any comments about this kind of stuff. But um, what I'm going to show you is how it kind of works. So you have, uh, what is it, 400 plus uh, plus 400 awesome free tools to build your business. So these are all, it's like a, it's like a guide, an easy to go to guide. I would just save this as a, uh, uh, you know, in your menu bar up there uh, and bookmark it so that you can easily go to it. And when you're looking for something in relationship to business marketing, design and code productivity, uh, or to learn something, these are free things. Now, free is relative. And so let me come back to my camera here in that already a couple of them, they're free to do certain things to get to a certain point. And then if you want to go further, then you have to pay. But what I've noticed is the pay part is for relatively inexpensive compared to having some, you know, hiring somebody to do it for you. Again, I recommend when you can hire somebody to do a job that you are not built to do, that your brain is not built to do, right? So if your superpower is not graphic design, in most cases, it's better to hire somebody to do it for you that you trust that's going to do it well, that you like their stuff, right? That's hire. But uh, as I, I know better than anybody else, that sometimes you're on a budget and then you need something quick and fast. You don't have time to call somebody, wait for them to do it, and then you have to call them, bug them over and over again before they get it to you. You don't want, if you don't want that, then you go to this site here, and I, I'm guessing that you're out of the 400 uh, recommendations, you're going to find something that fits into what it is you need. All right, so let's go back to this page here. So uh, you got 400 things, right? Uh, I'm gonna go to new right now. <clears throat> and let's say I'm looking for a mock-up of some sort. So you're gonna scroll down. Now you can scroll down. I think there was a search button too. I don't, I don't see it here, but I'm sure there's a way of searching. Zero to one million visitors. I'm sure there's a way of searching. I just don't see it right now. I saw uh, in the demonstration that they were able to search. So if I'm looking for um, uh, a free re resource for uh, mockups, here we go. Free image optimizers, Dunk, D-U-N-N-N-K, beautiful mockups. So let's click on that and it'll take you right to the site. And this is a mockup, of course, is where you can use uh, a picture and then put something that's related to your uh, either Facebook page or website or what have you uh, into one of these pictures. So let's go to iPhone. So here we have a bunch of different iPhones, people holding them. And how do you use it? Well, you just simply go to, let's click on this one here. And so I'm going to select that one and it's going to bring up, let's do, uh, what can I use as a, I know that I have a mock or a, a picture that I took from my phone. Uh, let's use screen share you would think that i would just know exactly what to do what to go to uh to find a file it's either frozen thinking about it or let me try this one more time uh, screen sure in in the title screen share is in there somewhere at least i i would think come on baby hmm maybe not Maybe I can drag and drop. For some reason, in these in this particular window, I have difficulty finding stuff. And when I open up a finder window, I'm not sure if this is going to show on the screen or not. Yep, on a finder window, look at that. I, it already found something. <laughs> it's crazy. Now let's see if I can drag and drop. So if I select, if I'm selecting this one here, uh, let me see if I can drag and drop this image. I don't know if we can. Well, there's a plus sign. Maybe, maybe not. It's probably going to replace the whole page. Yep. All right. Never mind that. Never mind that. <laughs> Opens it all up again. All right. What was the name of that file? We're going to find out what the name of that file is. I'm going to search it directly. FB phone screenshot. FB phone screenshot. All right. Some and some pages, some mockups you've been able to draw. I've been able to draw, drag and drop. Uh, <laughs> oh, crap. I already got the title. Hold on. Uh, Facebook phone. <laughs> Screenshot. Uh, all right. FB phone. I'm going to be, I'm going to be very upset. There it is. I was going to say, I'm going to be very upset if, uh, oh, shoot. 
That's because I didn't put the space between screen and shot like I did on the title. All right. Why did it show up there in the beginning? Oh my gosh, this is not supposed to be this difficult. Why can I not find this book? Phone. That is a title. There it is. I'm going to click on it before it goes away. All right, and open. All right, so now it goes, scrolls down. And there it is. Now, can you adjust this? Why does it not, not fit the way that I want to? Well, here I am trying to show you how easy something is, and it is giving me a different look. So there is no way to edit it on this one. Interesting. I have other mock-ups that are way easier. Let's try another. Let's try another one just for fun. That same picture will come up. That is definitely a picture from my phone. So why wouldn't it fit in that design? So interesting. Don't know why that is. I have had way better luck. All right, so maybe this was not a good example. <laughs> Let's just find another picture and put it in there and see what happens for fun. Let's take not any of those. See, these are all mock-ups that I've used before. All my files. Let's find a real quick picture here and see what happens. Let's use this one. It is way not going to be correct. And let's see what happens. Yeah, it almost looks a little bit better. All right. So if you find the right size to put in there, that should work. So anyway, there's an example of maybe one of the sites not to use. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go back. Let's find another one for fun and see what happens. And he appears to be frozen right there. Wow, that was awesome, right? I'm back. Uh, all right, let's come back to my page. That happened to the show that I was on last night. So I know it only does it doesn't only happen to me, it happens to others. All right, let's go to another one. Maybe this will be a better example. Uh, let's see, branding and logo. Let's go to Logister. Oops, I'm not sharing my, my page. Hold on. There we go. And I'm going to go solo again. Wow, everything is completely reset. All right, let's go to Logus, Logister. Logister is apparently a free logo creator. All right, and let's create a logo for free. Some of those logos down there at the bottom look pretty cool. And I'm going to put in zero to hero school and type of activity. Let's see, it is a business. I didn't, I don't see, it just, I don't see anything right off the bat that looked any different or any better. So let's see what it generates here. Oh, there we go. It looks like it generated a couple interesting things there. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can make this. Last time I tried to make it bigger, it um, messed up my window. So let me pull this over here a little bit more. So there's some of the logos that came up with all containing the zero to hero wordage. Now that's a really long. So I'm wondering if I should drop the school part, at least in relationship to this thing. But now yeah, let's continue to look at it. So it, it picked up on the word school, apparently, because you see a couple things. Uh, where is it? You see this pen, maybe, with a yellow highlighter. Let's go to number two. Oh, there's a school-looking thing, like a graduation cap. Um, I don't know what those things are. Oh, there's a, a pencil um, sharpener. That's kind of cool. It uses the Z. And so it creates these logos for you. Now, this part is free. Um, I kind of like this look here a little bit. Where's another one? <clears throat> a 
because I do a lot of uh, video stuff. So I'm wondering if that might be a better selection for me. But you can see as you go further and further, it get, gives you just different looks, different colors. And when you do decide to select one, I'm going to end up going back to page two, I think. No, I kind of like this one. This one's kind of cool. I just don't like the font. I'm sorry. Let's keep going. It's kind of interesting. Hopefully this is good for you. But again, this is just one of the resources that's in the uh, the uh, site there that gives you a about a little bit over 400 different free resources for stuff within your business. Oh, I kind of like this one. I like the big film look with the um, triangle the play triangle. And so I'm going to select that one by clicking on it and then go to next. And now it gives you a couple of different looks and shows you what it might look on a business pay, a, a business card. wonder why that did that. That's interesting. Oh, letterhead at the bottom. Cool. Oh, there's the business card look. Oh, I guess that just kind of scrolls through a couple images of when it's ready. So uh, there's a business card look and has the logo on there. Now this isn't my favorite. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Click to check how your logo concept looks in other colors and backgrounds. So you don't get a lot of. Uh, you are not able to get a lot of variations on the colors on the coloration. So I wonder if I hit the back arrow if that'll just send me back to that first stage. Yeah, it does. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna go back to page two, maybe, maybe it was page two. Because as most of you know, I like the color blue. If blue's not in my logo, then I feel funky. I should get out of that because um, I kind of, I, I get stuck. This one's kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so I'm going to get to it in a minute. I'm going to show you what happens. Uh, oh, that looks actually it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay, I like that. I don't know the difference between this one and this one is. It doesn't look like anything. Gray. And what looks like on different colors. I, you know, it's kind of interesting. I do kind of like that. Um, all right, so then uh, what happens is, is that you can um, save. And then when you hit save, this is where they will get your credit card uh, as you save it now you can download the logo files and if you want one with the watermark on it <laughs> it's free and so i guess if you are working for fiverr let's say say you're on fiverr and you say i'm going to create a logo that you're going to be blah blah blah, and blah 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 you can uh, send them examples using the small size logo with the watermarks and then when you upsell them for the uh the, the 10 by 24 uh, pixel <clears throat> for $15, you buy it for $9.99, and then that's where you're going to make your money. All right, so this is probably how some, probably somebody on Fiverr does it. <clears throat> and then if you want um, more, uh, you know, uh, files, it costs you $24.99. So this is where they'll end up getting you. And then they have a package here that you can get uh, one logo, one business card design, one envelope design, one letterhead design, and one Favicon, and that's for $30. And it, it shows you which I let's see if I can bring it over. What it would cost you altogether, and then you're instead of sixty four dollars for nearly uh, half price, you get um, uh, you get all the other you get all the designs that you want there that look like this for a favicon, um, <clears throat> for a business card, and that kind of stuff. So it, it's free to design it, free to download a watermark version, and then you pay for it. So uh, just back to uh, what I wanted to show you in regard to the site, that's kind of what you get there. All right. So then there's lots of other resources I showed you. There's over 400 free resources for businesses. I think it's a, it's a good one. The uh, link, if you're just now joining me, is in the, in the comment section. It is um, growthsupply.com forward slash free. And so just click on that. That'll take you to the page and you can begin to look through and see, find some free stuff and some resource. All right, let's go to Vimeo. So let me go over to my Vimeo account. And just, I've showed you in other training videos in Create, Launch, and Profit about Vimeo <clears throat> and why I use it and why I like it. And one of those things is because at the end of a video in particular, you can control what is seen. And so I want to emphasize that now by showing you my Vimeo account. I'm just waiting for it to get uploaded so you don't see a white blank page. And so I just told Everett O'Keefe this morning that I stopped saying so before I start a sentence. And uh, I just 
use the word silk. All right, so here's my screen. Let's go to the sizzle reel. All right, so I'm going to go to my sizzle reel, <clears throat> which I uploaded to Vimeo. I'm so sorry about my the frog in my throat. You're going to go to settings right here. In settings is where you will begin to find a lot of things that you can control when you're in the pro version. Understanding that I'm using the pro version, not the free version. And I forget how much I pay for the, the pro version. You can easily find how much that is. It's not that expensive considering what it is you're able to do. So this is where you uh, can you know control the content, rating, all the normal stuff. Put your tags in uh, and then change your thumbnail if you want. You can choose another thumbnail. You just play through and find uh, the part that you want. I like that part where I have, um, uh, it's Meredith and me sitting on the couch. I do like that one. Uh, maybe I do want to show me speaking. Eh. So let's control, let's find. There is one part where I'm sitting in front of a black backdrop. I really kind of like it. There it is. So let's see if I can get to that. And we're going to wait that. And again, YouTube allows you to do this too. You can upload. So I'm going to freeze that. I kind of like that. I'm going to use that one for right now. So you use that frame. So that is the frame that people are going to see when they click on uh, in Vimeo and find that video. That's the thumbnail. And you can also choose a thumbnail, upload a thumbnail that you want to have um, uploaded, or you can just have Vimeo select one randomly and just keep hitting that button and find until they until it accidentally hits the one you want. All right. So next, what you're going to do is go to embed, which is the fourth one down here. Uh, you're going to go ahead and hit embed. And here is where you get a lot of control. And I'm not sure if I've done this yet on this particular video or not. See, there you go. There's the thumbnail already showing up. And as I come over here on the right hand side, this is where I want to take away um, some of the stuff. So watch later. I'm going to uh, turn that off. Share. Yeah, they can share. Of course, I want them to share. In many of the videos, I don't want them to share. So any of the training videos that are, I'm using in a membership site or in my ClickFunnels campaign, uh, I don't necessarily want them to share that. So I will click off share. I will click off embed because I, I want to have full control of that particular video. And then the details. Let me go ahead and show a little bit more of the video. And then, wow. Let me reduce the size here. That way you could, oops, I was supposed to make it smaller. Hold on. Why is this not cooperating? <laughs> it's still the opposite. I'm hitting the minus sign and it's making it larger. Uh, and I'm trying to use the squeeze here and it's not letting me do that. Oh, well. Here, let me do this. I'll just make the thing a little bit smaller. Ba 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 ba. All right, so over here on the details, if I were to leave these checked, that's how they, that's the default is all these checked. You see up here in the, left, the upper left-hand corner that it has my name, uh, the name of the title, my name from, and then my, um, you know, my, um, uh, my, my, not my logo, but is the picture that's used for my account is there. And then, um, um, no, not the user decides. There we go. And what else? Oh, here it is. The branding changed to me. So hold on. I'm trying to find the right selections here. Huh. That's funny. Oh, not that. Show. Oh, there it is. Vimeo logo. There we go. All right. So uh, when it, the defaults are, all these things are showing. So what you need to do uh, to make it cleaner when you're sharing this on a training site or in a ClickFunnels thing is you, I turn all these off. All right. Because I want it to look like a video that's embedded. I don't want them to know necessarily. Again, it's not anything big. It's just that it looks cleaner when you don't see all that stuff up there in the upper left hand corner. And I, I may want to not show Vimeo, but maybe I want to show my custom uh, you logo, which is the Zero to Hero logo. Right, and so those are important things that you're going to want to make sure and 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 click on. the The next thing is at the end. So after the video is done, you see here in the uh, lower right hand corner. And I wish I could really make this larger, but I can't. But the lower right hand corner, you see right here where it says um, after video. Now during video, you need to have the business uh, account. I don't have the business account, so there's nothing I can do about what's playing before or during. But I do have control what happens after. 
So after the video is done, what I want to do, and let's see if I can make this big enough so you can actually see what's happening there. Oh, look at that. I can make this bigger. <laughs> All right. So down here, you want to, uh, you can have it show a call to action. You can have it share options, custom images, loop or thumbnail, right? You can have that or more videos. So in this case, so if I want to do call of action, you just do call of action and then you put um, the title here, right? And the description and then the URL button, you all put it right there, right? And that's a button that goes on after you're done with your video. Let's say that I don't want that, that I want to have um, more videos, uh, then I just maybe it'll show all my videos or I can select some videos, uh, the ones that I want. And I do that by doing select specific videos. So after my sizzle reel, I then go into my library and I go, what would be good for people to see after the end of that particular video? And uh, I think it would be good for them to see some training that I've done. Uh, maybe um, this video here, you know, there's a check mark. You can't see it, but there's a check mark on there. Uh, maybe about the mastermind retreat. So there's, now you can see the check mark. Maybe I also want them to see, let's see uh, where I'm doing training course. Let's see one more. Maybe it's, oh, there's one of me speaking somewhere. Let's let them want, you know, possibly see that one. So let me check that one. All right. So those three videos will now be the videos that show up at the end instead of the um, my counterparts or instead of my competition or instead of a video like on ClickFunnels that says, uh, you know, um, ClickFunnels sucks. Uh, you should not be using them. You should be using this because it's better and cheaper, right? You don't want that coming up <laughs> at the end of your video. So this is why I, I choose to use Vimeo instead of YouTube when I can, not all like, uh, uh, Webinar Jam does not allow you to use Vimeo. You have to use YouTube links in the playback uh, section of your webinar. Uh, and so th they do not allow Vimeo. But when they use Vimeo and they allow Vimeo, this is one of the reasons why I choose Vimeo. And I have a Vimeo Pro account so I can control uh, much of what people can see and especially what they can see once the video is over. Really important, I think. All right. So I hope this has been useful. Useful. I'm sorry about that uh, mock-up didn't work. I have other mock-up uh, pages that I use where you can just drag and drop and it fits in there perfectly. You simply take a, a you know, a picture on your phone, you, you, a screenshot of your phone, you upload that to your computer, then you put it right there in the mock-up and it works perfectly. Uh, not, not quite sure why that one didn't work. Maybe I changed something in the settings uh, in regard to that, uh, that JPEG. Uh, it was a PNG, so maybe that was it. Maybe it prefers JPEGs and not PNGs. I should have thought of that. You uh, got to be aware of all this stuff. I was working with a, 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 a I was coaching a, a client the other day, and I began saying, "So I see that you don't your uh, the image of your book is in a JPEG. We need that to be in a PNG so it doesn't show that white background." And I go, "What is a PNG? If you are in this business, whether you are a graphic artist or not, you absolutely should know what a PNG is. A PNG is." Uh, a picture that uh, that has a, if it has a background, it is taken out and is transparent. That way, whatever you're putting it on, if you're putting it on a blue background, it shows blue surrounding the edges of the thing you want people to see. It doesn't. It's not a square white box with your image in it, right? A PNG will will be enable you to use a, uh, a transparent background, and it won't look it won't look uh, amateurish. So you need to know some of these things, right? And so whether you're a, a graphic artist or not, if you're a business owner, when somebody says, hey, do you have a PNG version of your logo? The answer is either yes or no. And if you don't, you better have one because it's going to look awful amateurish on your website or your Kajabi site or whatever, your Facebook ad, if you're trying to use a JPEG and that white image is, is present, that right square. Um, and so, yeah, those are just some of the things you're going to need to know. All right. <laughs> there you go. I hope that was helpful. And uh, I saw people were coming on and getting off. I hope I, because I was getting on some little 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 things there that that didn't cause you to click off. Uh, but uh, there you go. A couple of helpful hints in regard to create it, creating your product and things you need to know about creating a product and create a launch profit. Uh, if you like this page, please share it with your friends. Let them know that there is a private group also they can get involved in and be a part of that. All right. That is it. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.